Welcome to this Getting Started video about using Maxwell Vendor with Maya. This video will assist you with the installation of the Maxwell Vendor plugin and the first steps in Maxwell Vendor. First, download the plugin installer from our download area and run it. Make sure you have administrator privileges before continuing. The installer will detect the installation directories of the versions of Maya that are currently installed on your computer. The 64-bit directories are on a separate page. The installer will automatically set up the Maya plugin for all the Maya versions you have enabled. After the installation is complete, start Maya and open the plugin manager. Instruct Maya to always load the Maxwell Vendor plugin at startup by ticking the auto load box. The plugin has a few global preferences which can be accessed from the rendering editor's menu, such as check for updates or the material preview quality. You can now select Maxwell Vendor as the active renderer in the Vendor Globals panel. The Command tab allows you to specify the path, format and resolution for the rendered image. You can choose from a list of standard resolution presets or use a custom value. The Maxwell specific render options can be found in a separate tab. Maxwell cameras are much like real SLR cameras, so they have familiar parameters like f-stop, shutter speed and film ISO. You will find controls for all of them in the attribute editor of your camera under the Maxwell Render rollup. Shutter speed, f-stop and ISO are parameters to control the exposure of the image, while the diaphragm controls the bokeh effect. Open the provided sample scene and look at the sampling level and render time. Both parameters allow you to define how long your image will be rendering. The sampling level represents the quality of the rendered image. Maxwell will stop rendering when the specific SL has been reached or when the set render time is up, whichever happens first. For this test, leave both values as they are and hit the render button to make your first render with Maxwell. This is the Maxwell Render Engine interface. You can see the image as it is being computed. The more time you wait, the cleaner the render will be. You can re-expose your image by adjusting the film ISO and shutter speed while rendering or after the render has stopped. This allows you full control over the final image and removes the need to relaunch the render every time you want to adjust the exposure. The small preview window shows the changes interactively while the main image is only updated when the next sampling level is reached. You can press the refresh button to display the changes in the main image right away. You can zoom in or out using the mouse wheel and pan the image with the middle mouse button. The F key displays the image in full screen mode. You can manually stop the rendering process at any time by hitting the stop button. You can adjust the image exposure after stopping the render. After the Maxwell Render interface is closed, the image is loaded in Maya's render view.